Matt Dixon, 1824 Burning Tree, 30 year resident of the city. The Plano Improvement Corporation, a nonprofit corporation, exists to facilitate real estate transactions and serve as an independent foundation for acceptance of donations to the city of Plano. The PIC holds the 501c3 for the mayor's internship program and administers several other programs under its 5013c. As of December 17th, the directors of the PIC include Bruce Glasscock, Denise Tacky, Marcus Railson. Corporate staff includes Paige Mim, city attorney, Allison Freeloff, controller, Megan, Megan Hostick. The summer internship program, the minutes of December 17th, indicated the PIC received a donation of a million dollars from Liberty Mutual. And in December 18, the minutes indicated the acceptance of funds donated to the PIC for the 2019 Plano, internship, uh, Plano Mayor's Internship Program and authorized the Director of Finance to disperse these funds. The V-Weight Group is, a, is billed as a collaborator with the City of Plano, the PIC, the Internship Program, assisting with the application, promotion, and execution of the summer internship programs. City records indicate the V-Weight Group has been paid over $212,000 in the last three years. On January 22nd, the V-Rate Group sent an email calling all 2018 intern PMSI interns for a volunteer opportunity. The email was sent to all students who are registered, have applied to, or shown an interest in the internship program. The email states, Mayor Harry wanted me to extend to each of you an opportunity to get involved in your community. He will put you in contact with several other candidates. This is a great opportunity to learn about our community, have a great addition to your resume, and perhaps explore a new career pathway. My team was approached by a student who received this email and was concerned there was something inappropriate about it. We asked the student to confirm in an email to the weight group asking, please tell me how many, please tell me how to contact the candidates that need volunteers. The response came from the mayor's La Rossi communication team. Uh, Mayor, Mayor LaRossi will be holding a one-hour meeting on February 9th to discuss volunteer opportunities. On February 8th, an additional email was received indicating the additional details were included in the attachment. Here. The flyer is titled Internship Meeting 2019. The student did not attend the meeting at Legacy Tower, the current location of Mayor LaRossi's employer, UBS, on February 9th. The pictures of attendees, including students, were taken. A student sent a follow-up email apologizing for not attending and asking, since I, missed, since I missed this meeting, should I contact the candidates directly? If so, which candidates will still need help and what is their contact information? Again, providing a second chance for the internship program to provide student contacts for other campaigns. Now, it's a very bad picture. I'm sorry about that. But I think at least one person in this picture is recognizable to the most of the people here tonight. Uh, that would, person would be the one on the left. On February 18th, another email was received from the mayor, Harry for mayor, uh, mayor campaign. By virtue of this email, oh, sorry. by virtue of this email, I'm connecting you with Ann Backus. She is running for city council and she is the candidate that I am supporting. I hope you will get involved in her campaign regards. Ann Backus was copied on this email. On February 19th, an email was received directly from Ann Backus asking her to get involved in her campaign to give her contact information. These actions constitute a proprietary email list was created and maintained by the internship program with none, whose non-corporate status was held by the PIC and was used to contact, recruit, and steer students in a, to a specific political campaign favored by the mayor. The use of the corporate, corporate mailing list constituted an in-kind contribution from a corporation. In mid-March, this and other information was presented to the District Attorney's Office of Felony Criminal Investigations. The meeting included the DA, two staff attorneys, two investigators, and the secretary. The evidence, the evidence, statutes, and case law were presented, whereupon the DA indicated this is the most complete and comprehensive criminal complaint of this kind we've ever received. The DA indicated this would be turned over immediately to the Texas Rangers, as they are the law enforcement arm tasked with investigating voter and campaign fraud in Texas. Unfortunately, there are two Texas Rangers and their investigation would need to be prioritized. I see my time's getting low. Uh, we asked the district attorney about this, about going public with this, and he said there'd be no problem doing it. He asked, we asked about the information being maintained for the investigation. He said that if anybody distorted or removed any of this information, it would be a felony in and of itself. 
The question I have right Thank now. Thank you. Your time is up. Is, is Next for speaker, Mr. Grady. please. Is, Mr. Grady, Thank did you, you receive any interns or did you receive Next any speaker, volunteers? Please. And Mr. Kelly, did you receive any interns for the internship the program speaker. as well? The next speaker is David Evans. Thank you. Do you do you have anything to say? Yeah, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The internship program. <clears throat> Go ahead. Baron Council, um, just to provide you some. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Sir. Just to provide just, you some factual information, Mayor and Council, we did um, reach out to law enforcement agencies mentioned this afternoon to try to determine, you know, what the status of this investigation is. We had some open records requests related to it and wanted to find out more about it. And um, we were informed that there is not an imminent investigation regarding this and that we were being told the same thing that's been told to all, any, anybody who inquires about this case. Um, the <clears throat> Plano Mayor Summer Internship Program is not funded by taxpayer dollars. It is funded completely through private donations. The PIC, the Plano Improvement Corporation, is a 501c that was three that was set up so that corporations that want to donate money that need to be able to donate to a nonprofit have that status. It's really just a repository and a pass-through. It doesn't have staff. It doesn't manage programs. It doesn't do any of those things. It's just to provide a 501c3 vehicle for donations for either city programs, facilities, or um, the like. Uh, so <clears throat> the... Uh, the, the activity that was discussed in the emails is not part of the city program. No communications were made with internal staff from Plano.gov accounts. As you can see, it was all a private exchange between private email addresses and private parties. Uh, whether I don't know who the, the recipients of that email were. It's not identifiable from the email that was shown. And while it appears that a list maybe of people that participated in a city program were used, it was not part of a city program in any way and had um, had no communication from people who were authorized within the city to administer that program. So, um, so I'll, I'll just say this, and, and certainly um, this is to speak to factual content so I can say this. Um, it's interesting. I see uh, Tom Mullen back here, and I can remember the days when I was on city council where this these halls were actually sacred and political um, uh, desires or political bent was not, was, was, was an unwritten rule that you just don't do that here. And what, for those of you I think are first time here or not often come here, um, this is not typical, of, or it's become typical lately, unfortunately. Um, Mr. Dixon uh, does not represent what the best of us in terms of the, the type of people that come and speak to city council. Please, um, please, 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 let's, let's, uh, please, if you, if you yell from, uh, from the rafters, you'll be asked to leave. Um, it, uh, he doesn't, okay, we're going to ask you to leave if you make another comment from the seats. Thank you. Um, so I'll, I'll say this, just because there's a mic here, you don't get to necessarily come up and say whatever you want and make accusations. Um, that will come out in the light of day at the appropriate time. Uh, he purposely chose this venue because he knows that there's very little dialogue that, that come, come through. And Mr. Dixon, I hope the deep, dark, cavernous black hole known as your soul has some light brought to it. And, uh, and that goes for you and your wife that, that filed that. Next speaker, please.